My name is Drew Page, and today I'm going to show you how to manually use import XML to scrape and manipulate data in Google Sheets. As a content marketing lead, I've always done data studies and struggled with the collection and manipulation of data using Python to scrape the web, but I've learned there is an easier way. So let's dig into scraping with import XML. So import XML takes a few parameters and the first being a URL to the site where the data lives and it is a string you'll see with quotation marks but it can also be a reference to a cell so as long as that URL is in the cell it should work and the second argument would be the XPath query and XPath is helps navigate XML, HTML documents that can bring in structured data. And so what we're going to do is look to scrape data from Craigslist. Let's say that you wanted to do a data study on the average price of used cars in a given market and maybe you want to compare them to other cities and find a good cost of living comparison. Um, what I'm going to do is right click and inspect using Google's Chrome DevTools. And you'll notice that I right clicked in between the first two results. And that's because it conveniently gets us to the unordered list um, containing all of the rows of data. And you might have to play around and find the right source for the XPath. But once you do, and you go in here and copy the XPath, and head over to your sheet, and I'm going to paste it right here into add XPath. And we'll provide this template sheet in the description below. So once you have the XPath, come back over and grab the URL. But one thing I want to discuss before we go back is pagination. So Craigslist uh, returns 120 results per page, and there's almost 2,000 results. And so if you do some math, 100 or 1,998 divided by 120, and you can figure out how many pages of data there are. And so we're going to come back here. I'm going to paste in this URL, and you should see the first uh, data start to populate, and that's from this first page. And notice how it comes in horizontally as a row. I want my data to be uh, vertical, so what I'm going to do is use the transpose. I'm going to wrap it in parentheses, and that just makes it vertically aligned. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try I'm going to use pagination to figure out so I know there's 120 results so the next page would have two, would be 240. What I'm going to do is drag this to expand the same interval out to at least 2000. Okay. So results will probably stop in this uh, column. And so I'm going to use, I'm going to concatenate. Let's see. Concatenate. I believe it's A2, which is the URL, and then D1, which is the number 120 in this case. And I'm actually going to, since I want the URL to stay the same uh, for all of these, I'm going to use the dollar sign to lock that cell. And then, so now it's giving me the URL with 120. So I know that that will work and bring in the, the first page, or the second page of results, I should say. And now, I'm going to drag this here. Let's just make sure that it comes in as 240, and that worked. So I'm going to take this all the way out to the 2000 mark. And now, I'm going to do the same import XML and transpose it vertically, but this time the URL will be in D2. And I still want to reference the same XPath query, and that was in B2. And since it's going to be the same for all of these, I'm going to use that reference lock. And so that brought in the second page of results. And now I'm going to do the same 
Oops, same thing here. That's the third page, cool. So this is working now. And I'm gonna make the same import XML for all of these. And it should start to yeah, import all the data. And you'll notice that this column is completely empty and this column stops at 81, or sorry, 82. And that's because this is where the pay, the results end. So the rest of these have 120 results per um, page, and then the last page had fewer. So now if you wanted to isolate the price or any other information, one thing you can do, and I'm going to keep this in mind, is that this data changes every hour. So since Craigslist is a dynamic site where users can upload new data, every hour this information will change. And so if you come back tomorrow, this data will all be different. If you wanted to isolate the numbers as they are currently, you can copy and paste, which is what I'll do here into a sheet called clean. And now we have those static numbers. And you can copy and paste all of those columns over for all you know, 2,000 odd results. But as an example, I'm gonna show you how I would isolate the price here. So one thing you can do is, if you notice that each price is followed by the word favorite, which is probably from Craigslist, um, you can favorite something. So what I'm gonna do is use data split text to columns, and I'm gonna use a custom separator. Sometimes if you want, like most of the time, you'll use a space or a period or a comma, which is how data is commonly separated. But in this case, I'm going to use the word favorite. Right there, that isolated the price. And you can do this for every cell of data and then find the average price. I hope that video helped you uh, simplify your data analysis and help you create better data studies. If you liked it, please click uh, the little icon right here and subscribe to our channel or give this video a thumbs up and tell everyone that you know about how to use import XML and that you learned it from me. So please like and subscribe again. My name is Drew Page and thank you for watching.